Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, on this video, uh, I'm going to share with you the new event in Cloud Song, which is the Halloween event. So, there's quite a lot of things going on here, actually. So, first off, the event will be ongoing for like 4 days. And with that, um, it actually includes a like a team event. So, a team event, a limited um, top-up as well, and also the lucky wheel where you can play your gacha of course so first off will be the halloween trial so basically the halloween trial is just like um if you recall the bamboo panda that you need to deal enough damage to the uh to the boss in order to get some bamboos now on a uh, halloween trial what you need to do is you have to actually team up with your friends in order to defeat the boss inside the the dungeon and the higher the damage, the more points that you will actually get, or your team will actually get, and the faster that you will actually reach the final reward. Aside from that, there is also a server ranking. So here on the server ranking, you will see that depending on your damage ranking, um, there will be additional rewards as well. So this actually resets every day, so it's a daily reset for the, um, for the damage ranking. So first place, we'll get um, the one day title, Pumpkin Spain. I'm not sure what's included in this. I can, I'll try to check that later, but yeah, I'm not quite sure what's uh, included there. And also four pumpkin boxes, which gives you a chance to get um, some of the rewards here. Other than that, of course, there's the silver leaves. Uh, what else? For second place, you still get the title, three boxes, Fourth place title, three boxes as well, as well, sorry, third place rather, and so on. So, yep. Now, uh, the next part uh, of the event actually is that, uh, again, you do have the point system as well, or the rating, uh, as it shows here. And you will have a chance to get this, this uh, really cute Halloween um, backing. See? It's really nice. It actually suits the um, the costume for this event, which is the Halloween costume as well. So uh, moving on, uh, we also have the um, limited time benefit, which is the daily recharge. So whenever you recharge a total of 60, 360 or two, 720 um, diamonds, then you will get uh, these rewards as well. I think the 720 for a pet select card is, you know, really uh, worth it. Because you also get three red shiny seals as well, together with that, and also five hundred thousand uh, gold leaves. Okay, and for the sixty or well for the three hundred sixty, you get the uh, mythic rune chest two pieces, three pieces of supreme gem, and five hundred thousand um, gold leaves. For the sixty diamonds recharge, you get one windbell summon, ten nucleus pills, and two hundred thousand gold leaves. Now, next is actually the Sweet Pack. Now, for the Sweet Pack, it's similar to the previous event, which is the Ocean Adventure. You would have to buy these um, these uh, packs, these uh, Sweet Rebate Pack, in order to get a chance. Again, it's by chance that you will actually get the Halloween coin, which you use to play on the Lucky Wheel. Other than that, you may also get um, Lucky and get a Dragon Orb, Prophet Crystal, um, Roses, S uh, sacred wind bell and also rune spirit as well there are um other items as well that you can actually get from here so yeah and let's see so every 100 carnival chest open will activate a server wide special effect which means that there's just like you know like a confetti on the screen so next part of the event will be the lucky wheel so for the lucky wheel you have to look closer into the details of this uh, this event. Why? Because uh, you can see that there is a dragon orb here, but when you click on it, it, uh, it, it tells you that it's actually a random drop. So you can either get a dragon orb, a, fa a fairy soul bag one, or a fairy soul bag two. See? So you're not guaranteed to get the dragon orb, but instead it's a random drop. And that applies to all of uh, the items here. And this wheel see
There you go. Now, um, I think the most important part of this event is uh, getting the Dragon Orb, and aside from that, getting the Fantasy Orb as well. Now, on this event, you have a chance to get a maximum of four um, uh, Spirit, or rather, a Fantasy Orb or Spirit Orbs. Um, if, well, if your spin lands on this, or three or two pieces. Um, and then there are also the total attempts as well. You can see it here. So at level, uh, well, at level 70, like at 70 spins, you actually are guaranteed to get one Dragon Orb. So we will try that in a while. We'll try that in a while. I already tried like three spins. One is the free spin, and then two from the um, from the reward here on the Halloween trial. So, so far I didn't get anything. So we'll see what will happen. And of course, the very um, nice part as well is the Halloween shop. So in the Halloween shop, you can redeem Dragon Orb, this Halloween costume. There you go. You can also redeem the hair, of course, and the hat as well, or the headgear. Now, you can see that you can actually redeem five times, right? Meaning that you can actually gift it to someone else. So if you do decide to um, buy more than one, then you can gift it to your uh, spouse or your friends or anyone, anyone in the server that you want to give it to. Also. On this event uh, comes out the new mount, which is the Night Guard Meow. So this is how it will actually look like if you are not using it. It will be on your, uh, well, this is how it looks like when you are using it. So it's a dual mount. So the other one will be on the front and then the owner will be seated on the on top of the uh, cat or what do you call this Night Guard itself. Again, if you're not using the mount, then it will just follow you around just like this. And then if you use it, then it will be like this. So it also gives you a hit rate of 1% and attack um, percent of a, well, 1% attack uh, rate. And that costs 125 fantasy spirit orbs. Um, now, if you ask me, is it possible that someone might actually get that or redeem that? I don't know. We'll have to try it out for ourselves. But I'm not confident enough that it would be that easy. So we'll have to see. And on this shop, you can also redeem Red Shiny Seal, your pet selection chest, random red gear mount, a lucky mount box, a nucleus pills, fine leather, profit crystal, rune spirit, a rune essence, sacred wind bell, a crimson crystal. Reroll do and also pet XP. Now, what we want to get here is uh, will be will be the costumes. So that will be the head, the hair, and also the outfit itself. The dragon orb, mm, not so much. We already have a fairy dragon. If we do get one, oh, you know, if we're lucky enough to actually get one again, then I will just install it to another pet. And again, like I said, I'm not really hopeful that I will be able to get this mount because you know our luck, right? And I'm not really that keen on, you know, spending too much and knowing about the drop rate of Fantasy R based on the previous event, which is the Ocean Adventure. And last part of the event would be the, um, uh, the Recharge uh, event. So it says here that Recharge uh, required a mount to receive a full refund. So technically, you don't get a full refund. What you get is actually the same amount, but only in bound diamonds. So once you recharge 149, 299, 599, and 1490 coupons, you get the corresponding bound diamonds as well. Aside from the, or rather on top of the um, unbound diamonds that you will be getting from the recharge as well. Okay. So this doesn't refresh on a daily basis. I, I believe this is a one-time purchase only or recharge. So what I will do now is I will buy, um, I don't know. I'm like really hesitant to do this um, because based on my previous experience with the recent um, Ocean Adventure event, I'm really hesitant to do this and even buy one, but sure, why not? Let's. For the sake of the content for you guys uh, let's open it all let's see how much we will get 
and we only got 30. <clears throat> so out of 99 boxes, you only get 30. 30 Halloween coins. And that's it. Uh, I'll just buy one more, so I get to 100 boxes, I don't know. There you go. Now, this is the difficult part that I'm not really looking forward to be doing. Spinning the wheel. Uh, we only have 30, so we won't make it to this part of the milestones. So, I don't know. Let's, let's just try it out, yeah? So, first 10. Okay, no fantasy orb. Again, guys, we're looking for fantasy orb. But we got the fairy soul bag. Fine, okay. And then a lot of other craps. Next, next attempt. No fantasy orb again. And a lot of other crap. And this will be my last attempt. I'm not willing to spend more on this event. Again. Nothing. Now I'm wondering what is actually the drop rate of the fantasy orb. You know what? Uh, the game actually makes it seem like fantasy orb is a high value um you know a high value currency in game they only give you four three or two and then the drop rate on the wheel or on the gacha event is like so so low like it's already close to zero it's so close to zero so close to zero really um and i don't know they make it seem like it's a high value currency, but in reality, imagine you need 125 fantasy orb to actually redeem a mount. 125 fantasy orbs. So I spent 30, like 8,000 uh, diamonds, and I got nothing. Like zero. I got zero. So how much more do I need to actually spend in order to get, you know, 125? 100? 200,000 uh, diamonds? Mm, you think? Do you even think that that's actually a fair deal? I'm not quite sure. Um, some of you may be surprised that I'm being brutally honest here because it's true. It's so true. Imagine, um, I don't like comparing, but I would really have to compare in this scenario. In Guardians of Claudia, which is the global version, you use three diamonds of time to actually redeem a mount. The diamonds of time is already a high value um, currency in game, but the drop rate is also reasonable. In a certain event, you may or may not get like around five to ten uh, diamond of time, spending let's say um, 10, 20,000 diamonds, 30,000 diamonds, but then Redeeming amount would only cost you three. So you still have, let's say, if you got ten, you still have seven more to redeem, like, what? Parts of the costume? Something like that. And here, you don't even get anything from, like, 8,000 diamonds. You don't get... You don't get any fantasy orb. So, I'm not quite sure how many players will be able to redeem this mount. It's such a waste, to be honest. It's such a waste because the items here on this shop are really nice. But the drop rate is really, really bad. It's really, really bad. If you're a total whale, like a big, big whale, you can spend like tens and thousands of dollars to get this mount. Then fine, fine, you know? I mean, you can do it. But how about those players who are playing for free? They save up their bound diamonds by selling gold leaves and then they will end up spending it on this uh, event and then get nothing. It's just such a disappointing event. O already two events already are very disappointing. The ocean adventure event and this Halloween event both are very disappointing when it comes to the drop rate. 
I don't know how they will figure out um, or if they will actually do a fix on this one. But if they don't, then they can expect players, uh, player base to actually drop in coming months. So yeah, I'm just being honest here because, you know, I am also a player. I'm very vocal that I do support the game. However, I just can't, you know, stay silent, you know, and keep quiet without saying anything because I am also a player. I pay on the game and my members and, you know, I have a lot of friends who are free to play and I see how, how they, how they are suffering, you know, with the drop rate of these events. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. If you want even, you know, if you don't want to give the items, just don't put it on the event shop, right? Because the way that you're, you're, you know, you're putting it here is that, oh, we have really nice items. You can redeem five of those, but you can't even get a single fantasy orb from 30 spins, guys, 30 spins. So yeah, well, if you are playing Cloud Song and you've seen this video, you want some improvement, please fill out the form the Google form that I will be putting on the description box below and help us reach out to the developers and see maybe maybe we can make a change, you know, for the better. I'm not saying that the game is that bad. It's just the drop rates of the events. So, you know, I don't think people will enjoy this further. I've already seen some comments on the world chat about the drop rate and I see a lot of complaints, to be honest. I hate to say it, but, um, you know, sometimes if people call these, I don't want, never mind. I, I won't say it. You know what I'm thinking, guys. You should know what I'm thinking. Coming from someone who saves diamonds for events, you know what I'm thinking about. So yeah, again, guys, if you do want to, you know, give your feedback to the team of the Cloud Song team, then do fill out the feedback form uh, that can be found on the description box below. I'll be putting the link right there and then, yeah, tell them, you know, how you feel about the event and any suggestion would be welcome. I hope they do listen to us. The more feedback that they receive, the more serious they know, you know, I mean, the more that they will know how serious we are, you know, in, in keeping the, the uh, community in game. So yeah. So that would be all for uh, this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video, for staying this long. I'm sorry, I won't cut this uh, video short in the editing part because I'm just stating facts. I won't cut any other anything. So yeah, so again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video as well to your other friends who would like to play this event or who are planning to play this event, you know, let them know in advance what they should expect. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll see you in game. Bye.